Hi, I'm Rob Miotti, and this is Jay Prado. Hi, Rob. Hi, Jay. Today we have another edition of Share and Ship, and we have a really special product to show you. But before we do, I have a question for Jay. Jay, tell me what can make your eggs fluffier, can make your sauces thicker, and even soothe a sunburn. I actually know this one. It's cornstarch. That's right, cornstarch. And cornstarch has some pretty special properties, right? That's correct. If uh, cornstarch accumulates in a single area, it actually becomes very combustible. So we designed our system to be class two, division two explosion proof. This system? This system right here. And who's going to be using this system? All right, this customer produces a cornstarch product and it is filled in containers and overfilled actually. So we're going to remove that cornstarch uh, with our ion bars and air. Off the outside of the container? Correct. So let's take a look inside. All right. All right, so what you'll see in here is we actually had to mount all of our components from the top down rather than the sides of the conveyor. And that was due to the very short space we were given to place the system. So we only have three feet to fit all of this in here. And usually closer to five feet, right? Correct. So you did a really nice job con compacting everything. It just looks congested. Yeah. So <clears throat> from what I understand, this is the mounting bar and it can go up, down, any angle you want and in and out, depending upon the size of the container. Easy changeover. Absolutely. And I see this one right here. What is that? That is our ion bar. It's used to uh, eliminate static charge. Now, when you think ion bars, you think sparks, you think electricity, that doesn't really pair with combustible products. Right. However, these are also class two, division two ion bars. So no spark. No spark. Okay, then I look at it and I see these white hoses everywhere. Right, all of that's the same rating. So this is all to protect and make sure we eliminate the potential for combustion. Okay, and now I see that one of those ion bars that you talked about goes right through the middle of the conveyor? That's correct. So one of the specialties of jet air is drying the bottoms of containers, uh -huh. which you could imagine is very hard when it's against a flat top conveyor chain. Right. So we utilize a 60% open belt and integrated air components to remove that powder from the bottom. Perfect. Now, two more things a little bit closer to the top. I see a, another air knife that looks different. It's mm -hmm. a traditional air knife. Correct. And then I see these two hoods. Right, so we use the traditional air knife for any surface that has a, it is flat, just like the blade, it does a really good job. And then we'll use our standards for larger things. The hoods here, obviously we don't want that powder to accumulate. We talked about that a lot. It's gonna cause combustion. So we pull it out through the hoods and these inlets, and we actually have another one at the bottom too. All vacuumed away. Correct. Right on, so let's take a look at the other side of the machine. All right, here at the back of the machine, I noticed two things. First, I noticed that there's no observation window, mm -hmm. which is typically there with Jetta right. product. And then I noticed these three ports. So shall we take a look inside? Yeah, absolutely. So we don't have a vision window to meet the class two, division two specification. Uh, and then these are just all of our inlets for the under conveyor or bottom drying. There's three air knives going underneath. Yes. Along with that ionizing bar. Yeah. Right on, cool. And I also noticed this beautiful blue conveyor. Yes, we had MK Global, uh, North American Industrial, go ahead and design this for us. They did a fantastic job. Really high quality. Really high quality, yes. So let's take a look at where the air comes from because it's coming from a centrifugal blower, right? Absolutely. All right, let's take a look. So this is an Enclosure 800. And this is where the centrifugal blower is, is that correct? That's correct. And so we don't want the centrifugal blower in the explosion proof room so what did they do? Uh, what we did actually is we had the customer place this in a room that does not have the combustible particulate so they can just run their hose out to the blow off system. Right on, and so that, that means that this isn't class two div two. That's correct. And a lot of that has to do with the way that the controls are set up, right? Correct. So they have a remote control? Uh, yeah. Sort of, we got a panel that is uh, separate from this enclosure here. And that is in the actual room. It is. So let's take a look at it. All right. So here we have our controls box. And again, this is going to be in the same room as the explosion proof system. Is this explosion proof? It is. So what's kind of unique about this, you can look at all the switches. Uh, they're a little beefier than the ones over there. So all of these are anodized aluminum. And what we do is we have a laser cutter cut out all of the holes for the switches. And that's important because if you knock them out with a punch, that can create space where that powder will end up. Mm. These will always sit flush and they will not allow that to happen. Great, and what I'm looking at here is anodized aluminum, so it's not going to rust or deteriorate. Correct. And it's not gonna spark. The uh, 
ever-present spark we're trying to resist, right? Right, and there's even a little more protection than that. So these lights here are actually filled with a gel, and if there's any sort of spark, uh, it's going to be able to uh, just completely get rid of that. So that's a light, and if that if that light were to become uh, broken in any way, it could cause a spark. Right. And this actually has a gel in it? That's true. Oh, that's awesome. Absolutely. This whole project's been a whole lot of fun, and uh, the Explosion Proof world now knows that we can offer them a product that will work for them. Right, yeah, this is a field we've been involved with for a long time, and it's been great to showcase uh, how custom we can make machines for these guys. Well, thank you, Jay, and thank you for watching our Jet Air Share and Ship.